Hello everyone, Xenonismer here, and welcome back to more Let's Play Star Wars Coder. Last time, we got to David Kang's estate. I don't know why I can't say that word. And this time, well, we're here. So, I did it again. No, we don't want that. Well, that might be good. Skills. Now we can talk about Candorus. Candorus is a Mandalorian. So, innately, he has the ability to recover health. This may not seem too big, but oh boy, does it make him being able to tank things so OP. We'll be relying on him. What's the idea of barging in here? Get out of here, I'll call the guards. Kudu, Tony Rama, Napraka, Donko, Tsurka. Hey, baby, wait. I wasn't actually going. Damn it! Okay, great. You just scared off my date for the night. So you better explain yourself before I lose my temper and call the guards. She disappeared! Uh uh. No way. You're not getting out of this mess that easy. You can explain yourself to the guards, if you live long enough for them to question you. And yes, we're just going to run in. Go into rooms, get in trouble, and then kill. And yes, it's a Rancor head. And then, like the second game. There really isn't much change if you break open them. Breaking open these food lockers. Oh my god. Ah, still left. Does it stop us from going in? There we go. And then we can leave. And then Welcome to the slave quarters, fair mistress. I mean no disrespect. And if we talk to the male... Welcome to the slave quarters, mistress. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. Would you like a relaxing massage, mistress? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. As you wish, mistress. You will find this most relaxing. If you would come with me into the massage room at the back, I trust you are satisfied. Thank you, my lady. I hope you will express your appreciation to Davik. He often... But what could I... I'm sorry, miss... Of course. We do have enough charisma. <laughs> Even though it's one of the easier checks. Oh well. Uh, but really, 
But with this, we can be cleared the most dangerous. So be it. Wait, did the destroyer just go up to punch me? All I can say is, it's one ballsy droid. You're really ignoring that I'm a Jedi. Still, ballsy. Okay, now we want to come into here. What the hell was that noise? Never heard these droids make that noise. Then again, I get really lucky with them. Thank you. You have no idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. We've got what we came for. We should get going. What? I'm here. Punch. And we went to go into that room as well because we went to clear out this place. Because we, we don't. How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a. How can. Well, I don't. Re now, Scully. Yep. And if we do this quickly, we don't get in trouble. And we can get this 500 credits, and I believe. Yep, some, some good stuff here. The med pack, especially. Battle stimulants, which will be useful for later. But I believe we can now try using the terminal and more remains. Use the access card. Don't open the security cores. Run room. Don't gas the room. Storage. Don't gas that room. Hangar. We'll gas that room because it's really hard. Okay. Switch camera. Spice lab, which we can't do anything about, even though that's the one. All right. We'll have to semi-recoup those, because those parts 
will be useful much later. Much, much later. Pack. Now we are almost at the home stretch. Just need to go check a few rooms and then we're free. I believe. Yep, that's all the doors. Before we go on, I recommend you save now especially if you're playing on something that isn't completely optimized because it can crash damn no shit they're bombing the whole planet i knew they'd turn on the sooner or oh, look what we got here thieves in a hangar so you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turn the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and we'll kill us all. Yeah? I'm here. Want to deal with Kahlo. You may have me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn those shit! I'll bring this whole hangar down around our ears! Nice. Be sure to quickly check Davik, because he's got some good gear. Can't do much talk about it. And that actually killed one of us. God damn it. Thankfully she'll get back up. And once again, save before we go. Because we don't want to do that fight again. Again. Now, let's get on. Yeah, what do you want? Nothing for now. Do you wish to board the Ebon Hawk? Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy.
a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. We get to the most infamous part of this whole game. The turret section! Even I hate this. And that's because it's tedious. Because even when you know what you're doing, it still takes longer than it should. Like, as you saw, I already defeated three of them. Four of them! It's all about landing your shots, but it's still, like, tedious, so I'd rather not do this. I believe there's even a mod in the PC version to cut out all of these. And honestly, if you're playing the PC version, I recommend it. It's not fun to do these. Like, the, the only time I recommend it is if you have to get them authentic experience. So the point, second game, remove them. Yeah, sec it was, they were so bad, the second game removed them. Between. It seems like a lifetime since I last set foot on her surface, though in truth it's only been a few months. We should be safe from Malak here, for now at least. Safe? You saw what his fleet did to Terrace. There wasn't a building over two stories high left standing. They, they turned the planet into one big pile of rubble. Even the Sith would think twice before attacking Dantween. There are many Jedi here, including several of the most powerful masters of the Order. There is great strength within this place. We can get supplies here and recuperate. The Academy is a place of mental and spiritual healing. Something we could all use after what we've been through. Maybe you're right. It isn't easy to witness the annihilation of an entire planet. I know Meshin must be taking it pretty hard. She will find a way to come to terms with her grief. She's stronger than she appears. We just need to give her time. Now I must go speak with the Council. I need their advice on recent developments. After I've met with them, I'll meet you outside the ship. Tantooine. Once we get to a bit more time, get m myself more time to talk. There is actually interesting facts about this place. I've spoken briefly with the council. They request an audience with you. We should go at once. An audience with the Jedi Council? It's pretty unusual for someone who isn't even a Jedi. What's this about, Bastila? I'm sorry, Karth, but I cannot tell you. All I ask is that you trust in the Force and the wisdom of the Council. Well, I don't like being left out of the loop, but I'm not looking to get you in any trouble with the Jedi Masters. We'll do things your way for a while. Come. They're expecting us. I will lead you to the Council Chambers. Dantooine? It's actually mentioned in the Star Wars movies. If you guys know episode 4, you may have heard Princess Leia say Dantooine. The base is in Dantooine. She isn't saying Tatooine, she's saying Dantooine. Which is... I gotta admit, I didn't realise at the time. But that's really clever. Let's see what you have to sail. Sail, mate, because you've got something I want. Well, this is also pretty good, but I don't do stealth. Uh, this is also pretty good, but not what we want either. Uh, the CNS Strength Enhancer is also pretty good, but this is what we want. 
The Calarissian utility belt. Which also, yes, is a reference to Lando Calarissian. We'll soon be able to level up, guys, so don't worry. We'll finally get rid of this gun. Damn. Arrow. You there, Padawan. Why are you not wearing the customary robes of the Jedi? Do you mock the honored traditions of our order? Bastila. I have heard of her. They say she has already mastered the art of battle meditation. Remarkable in one so young. Though I've heard she has a foolish pride in her own talents. But as for you, you claim you are not a Padawan? I find this hard to believe. The Force is strong within you. I can feel its presence. If this is some type of jest, it is in very poor taste. The Jedi Order is not a subject for jokes. Please forgive the abruptness with which I first greeted you. It was harsh and perhaps unfair. My master often warns me that I must learn to control my emotions. I see I have much left to learn. I wish you a pleasant stay here on Dantooine. May the Force be with you. Bilia is actually an interesting character, but we can't talk about her yet. Which is annoying. But we've got a lot of cutscenes, so I'll have to be quiet. Ah, so you are the one who rescued Bastila. It is appropriate you are here. We have been discussing your rather special case. I am Ja, a member of the Jedi Council. With me are Master Vrook, Master Vandar, and of course the chronicler of our academy, Master Dorak. Padawan Bastila, I am sure you are already familiar with. Bastila tells us you are strong in the Force. We are considering you for Jedi training. Do not worry. I am confident in your ability to learn. Master Jar speaks out of turn, perhaps. We need indisputable proof of your strong affinity to the Force before we would even consider accepting you for training. Proof? Surely the entire Council can feel the strength of the Force within this woman. And I have already related to you the events that took place on Terrace. Perhaps it was simple luck. We both know there is no luck. There is only the Force. We all feel the power in Bastila's companion, though it is wild and untamed. Now that this power has begun to manifest itself, can we safely ignore it? The Jedi training is long and difficult, even when working with a young and open mind. Teaching a child is hard. How much harder will it be for an adult to learn the ways of the Jedi? Traditionally, the Jedi do not accept adults for training, though there are rare exceptions in the history of our order. But you are a special case. I agree with Master Dorak. Many of our own pupils are leaving the Jedi Order to follow the Sith teachings. We need recruits to stand against Malak. With Revan dead... Are you certain Revan is truly dead? What if we undertake to train this one and the Dark Lord should return? We should discuss this matter more fully in private. Bastila, you and your companion must go. This is a matter for the Council alone. As you wish, Master Vandar. We shall return to the Ebon Hawk and leave you to your deliberations. Jedi Council, it's all of its damn bullshit. The dark side is strong in this place. I can feel its power. Is this wise? The ancient Jedi sealed this archway. If we pass beyond this door, we can never go back. The Order will surely banish us. 
Are the secrets of the Star Forge so valuable? Can its power truly be worth the risk? And we see Jedi Padawan, Malak, or Alec. It's getting stranger by the minute. First Bastila comes out looking like she saw a ghost, and now you. Well, Bastila did mention that you should go to the council chambers before she left. It's no doubt urgent, so you shouldn't keep them waiting. Let's go. You got it. It's being Candrus. And Zolbar. Let's give. We'll, we'll speak to him later. We will speak to him later, but not right now. And finally, we return. Bastila has told us of a most unusual development. She claims you and she have shared a dream. A vision of Malak and Revan in the ancient ruins here on Dantooine. These ruins have long been known to us, but we believe them to be merely burial mounds. Perhaps they're more than we first suspected, if Revan and Malak found something there. She says she has felt your presence within the dream. The presence she has felt within you ever since... Master Vandar. Ever since Taurus. It is not unknown for this to happen between two people strong in the Force. Bastila has described this shared dream to the Council in great detail. We feel it is more than a dream. It is a vision. The Force is acting through you, as it acts through Bastila. You and Bastila share a powerful connection to the Force, and each other. This is not unheard of. Connections often form between master and student, but rarely does a bond develop so quickly. Whatever dangers may lie ahead, we cannot ignore the destiny that has brought you and Bastila here to us, together. You and she are linked, as is your fate to hers. Together, you two may be able to stop Darth Malak and the Sith. But do not let your head be filled with visions of glory and power. Such thoughts are the path to the dark side. The way of the light is long and difficult, as you must learn. Are you ready for such hardship? Understand that there is little choice in this matter, for you or us. Across the galaxy, the numbers of our order dwindle. We have sent many Jedi in quest of a way to thwart Malak's advance. Many have not returned. The Sith hunt the Jedi down like animals, ambushing and assassinating our brothers wherever they are found. We fear it is only a matter of time until they discover even this hidden refuge. Other Jedi have fallen from the light and embraced the dark side, giving their allegiance to the Sith and Malak, their dark lord. The lure of the dark side is not easy to resist. Malak's power grows as more and more planets fall to his conquering armies. If Malak is not stopped, the Republic will fall, and the Jedi will be hunted to extinction. The galaxy will enter a time of darkness and tyranny, not seen for a thousand generations. The Council has decreed that you and Bastila must investigate the ancient ruins you dreamed of. Once the Council deems you ready, Perhaps there you will find some clue, some explanation of how Revan and Malak were corrupted. And perhaps there you shall find a way to stop them. The Force flows through you like no student we have ever seen. But you are willful and headstrong, a dangerous combination. Before we send you to investigate the ruins, you must be trained in the ways of the Jedi, so that you can resist the darkness within yourself within all of us. Otherwise, you are doomed to fail.
We must begin your training at once. You have a destiny upon you that you must be prepared to face. The entire fate of the galaxy is upon you. I can only hope you will prove up to the task. The path you have chosen to walk is difficult. Intensive training will prepare you physically for the demands of the Order. Meditation will teach you to channel the power of the Force. To truly understand the way of the Jedi, you must open your mind to knowledge. Seek wisdom in the teachings of the great masters of our Order. A Jedi is never alone. Others in the Order will always stand by you. You and Bastila share a special bond. Do not be afraid to turn to her when you need help in your training. The way of the Jedi is difficult. It requires great discipline. Yet even though you are a mere apprentice, your potential is unlimited and your progress amazing. In all my years, I have never seen one who has mastered the initial training so quickly. You have done in weeks what many cannot do in years. I am honored to welcome you fully into the Jedi Order. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. These tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets must always guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. Alright, let's go collect the Code. Because that's... Because when we finish the first tests, Readings, we're going to end this episode. Have you come seeking knowledge of the past? Those who do not learn from history are doomed to repeat it. Or so they say. As a chronicler of the Academy here on Dantooine, I... The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith... There are important lessons... I seek knowledge of the Jedi Code. All Jedi must know the Code. Its tenets are the fundamental teachings of our Order. Think and meditate on these truths, Apprentice. There is no emotion, there is peace. There is no ignorance, there is knowledge. There is no passion, there is serenity. There is no chaos, there is harmony. There is no death, there is the Force. Knowledge of the Code will lead you to the rank of Padawan, and knowledge of the Order and its history will guide you down the path of the Light. Okay. So we knew it. As you wish. I will not force you to hear what I have to say. Though I think it is unwise to ignore the lessons of the past. Perhaps you can return when you have more time. And with this, it's time. Greetings, my young pupil. Your progress has been most remarkable so far. Are you here to continue your training in the ways of the Jedi? <sighs> I'm ready to continue training. Soon your apprenticeship will end, and you will be granted the title of Padawan, the lowest rank of those within the Jedi Order. Yet first, you must prove yourself worthy. In the traditions and customs of our order, as handed down from master to pupil for a thousand generations, you must successfully complete three tests before you earn your place among the Jedi. Right for These the test. tests will see if you have truly mastered the training you have been given, both mental and physical. 
Upon completing these tests, you will pass from apprentice to Padawan and join in the ranks of the Jedi. First, I will test your knowledge of the Jedi Code. These tenets we'll see if I remember. Must guide your actions. In everything you do, you must always be conscious of their wisdom. You must now prove you have a Jedi's understanding of the Code by completing these fundamental precepts of our Order. There is no emotion. There is... There is no emotion. There is there peace. There is no ignorance. There is no ignorance. There is harmony. That is not correct, Apprentice. Perhaps you are not yet ready for this challenge. There is no shame in admitting weakness. Feel free to speak to the other Jedi in the Academy if you require assistance. They will gladly share their knowledge with you. Return when you feel you are ready for this challenge. May the fourth I'm going back to Jack. I could as a the man. All there is no emotion. There is no emotion. There, there is, is peace. There is knowledge. There is no ignorance. There is serenity. There, there is no harmony. Knowledge. There is the first. The f the first. <laughs> the force. Okay. I think I got it. This time we can do it. Greetings. Soon in the. You must. There is. There is no emotion. There is peace. There is no ignorance. There is knowledge. There is no passion. There is serenity. There is no chaos. There is harmony. There is no death. There is the force. You have learned your studies well, apprentice. It will not be long before you are a full member of our order. But first, you must pass the second test and learn about the most prized possession of a Jedi. The very symbol of our order, the lightsaber. The lightsaber. the lightsaber is the traditional weapon of our order. It is a symbol of a Jedi's skill, dedication, and authority. And each lightsaber is as individual as the Jedi who wields it. The blade is made of pure energy, focused by polished crystals in the hilt. As the second test, each Jedi must construct her lightsaber with her own hands. And now it is your time. Speak with Master Dorak, and he will guide you through the choosing of a crystal. Before that, we want to go here. Now, we get to talk about our upgrade class. The Jedi classes. So, statistically, this is the differences between them. 10 Vitality, 4 Force Points for Guardian. 6 Vitality, 8 Force Points for Counselor. 8 Vitality, 6 Force Points. But now let's go into each of them. Jedi Guardians battle against the forces of evil and the dark side. If you focus on combat training and mass reuse of the lightsaber. Basic class attributes. 10 Vitality, level, 4 points level, 4 Force Points per level. Slow skill progression, fast feet progression. Jedi Guardians gain the force jump feat automatically. This, meet, this feat allows them to instantly close the distance and attack an enemy within 10 meters. Jedi Counselor. Jedi Counselors seek to bring balance to the universe. They focus less on physical combat and more on mental disciplines in order to augment their mastery of the force. Basic class attributes. Yeah, yada. Slow skill progression, slow feet progression. Counselors gain force focus feet automatically. This feat makes it harder for opponents to resi resist the force powers. Then the Jedi Sentinel. Jedi Sentinels ferret out deceit and injustice, bringing them to light. We strike a balance between physical and mental disciplines of the Jedi Order. Average skill progression, slow feet progression. Jedi Sentinels gain Jedi immunity feet. This makes them immune to fear. At least three classes, Jedi Guardian and Jedi Council are, are better than Sentinel, sorry. 
and considering what we we are soldier, we're going to use that to become a Jedi ah, Guardian. You have come, young apprentice, at Master Zar's bidding. He sees great promise in you, as do I. The time has come for you to choose the color of your lightsaber. This color also reflects your demeanor and position within the Order. Blue is the color of the Jedi Guardian. This Jedi battles against the forces of evil and the dark side. They focus more on combat training and use of the lightsaber. Yellow is the color of the Jedi Sentinel. This Jedi ferrets out deceit and injustice, bringing it to light. They focus less on combat and more on other skills and abilities. Green is the color of the Jedi Consular. This Jedi seeks to bring balance to the universe. They mediate between other groups, using their powers to end conflict and preserve peace. I want to be a Jedi Guardian. Indeed. We shall see. I will now ask you questions, and your responses will indicate which class you lean most towards. A woman and her small child are beset by a desperate-looking group of thugs. They're menacing her with weapons, and she screams to you for help. What do you do? Consular, Sentinel, Guardian. Hmm. Indeed. Very well. On to the next question. You are in combat with a dark Jedi allied with the Sith. There is a pause in the combat. What do you do? Consular, Consular, Sentinel, Guardian. Yes, I suspected as much. Now for the next question. There is a locked door, and your goal lies on the other side. I'll... What do you do? <laughs> the consular option is knock, and I love it. Just... It's a locked door. Someone might be on the other side. Knock, knock. <laughs> that sentinel. That's Guardian. I am beginning to see a pattern here, Apprentice. I have a feeling about what you would be best at. But first, the final question. You are the head of an enclave on a contested world. The Dark Jedi have infiltrated and are causing unrest across the planet. What do you do? Consular, Sentinel, Guardian. Yes, I thought as much. As I suspected, you would be most suitable as a Jedi Guardian. Which color and path do you believe yourself most suited to, Apprentice? This is where you can properly choose, I believe. Here is a blue crystal for your lightsaber. Go speak to Master Jar again, and he will instruct you in how to construct it. And now, we are level 3 Jedi Guardian. And we can't get repairs, so we're going to be leaving that. And if we go down, we've got a new skill set. want that. I accidentally did that. I meant to press X. Powers. This is our force abilities. Uh, where is it? There's one ability we need. Well, we don't need for the lightsaber. Effect mind. Yeah. What effect mind? But... Alright, we've got one more. Stun droid. Except now, let us start leveling up. Powers, skills. Once again, can't do much. We want to do wield before we do anything. And if we can't get that yet, we want to get speed. Powers. I believe, yeah, we can we can technically get dominant mind, but we want to get cure. Skills. Nope, we can't get that yet. Powers. Dominant mind. We want to keep boosting up our attack. Feats. Let's max out. Two weapon fighting, because we're going to be dual wielding, baby. Disable droid, skill, 
Once again, can't do much about that. I can hear you, Lily. My cat's come in. We want to give ourselves weapon specialization. Stasis. And that is all we can do. Let's do this. Let's make you more powerful, Zobar. Get you more repair, because that will be useful. And now, we can finally do the one thing that's important. Getting a lightsaber! Ah, good. Now that you have selected your crystal, we shall begin the construction of your lightsaber. Alright, we do have a slight change. We don't have as much as uh, the second game, which is so good in Bar in Baron's that game. With that, we get our first lightsaber. But before that, let's quickly do this before I forget. Bendix Blaster is now maxed out. You have done extremely well in constructing your lightsaber, Apprentice. Your crystal seems to have been set perfectly. It is rare indeed for that to happen the first time one constructs their lightsaber. These crystals are very rare, found only in certain caves strong in the Force. By adding crystals to your lightsaber, you can alter or enhance its properties. There have even been unconfirmed rumors of certain Force-sensitive caves here on Dantooine that may hold these crystals. Your lightsaber identifies you as a member of the Jedi Order. With such recognition comes honor and respect, and the attentions of dangerous enemies. The Sith and Dark Jedi will seek to destroy you, Apprentice. And you must prove yourself worthy in battle against a foe who also wields a lightsaber. Are you ready to face the final challenge, Apprentice? Lily. <laughs> yes, I'm ready. For every Jedi, the threat of the dark side is always present. You must truly understand this before you are accepted into the Order. You I am see so the sorry. corruption of the dark side for yourself. Even here on Dantooine, there are places where the dark side holds sway twisting and tainting nature itself. The ancient grove, once used for deep meditation by the Jedi, is now tainted. A wave of darkness perverts the region around it. The Cathounds in the area have become savage and ruthless. They have become a threat to the settlers, a threat the Jedi have promised to stop. The Cathounds are but a symptom of the true problem. You must journey into the grove and confront the true source of the darkness. That is your task. I can say no more. Some things you must see for yourself. None of the other Jedi at the Academy are permitted to help you in this task. But remember this, my young apprentice. A Jedi acts with patience and care, and those on the dark path are not always lost forever. The dark side still taints the ancient grove. Your lessons cannot continue until the spreading corruption of the dark side has been stopped. This is your task, Apprentice. May the Force be with you. And with that... Lily! <laughs> no, cat. No. I don't know if you can hear her. She just jumped up on my lap. No, Lily. You're not going near the microphone. Next time on Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic, we're going to find out what this corruption is, defeat it, and hopefully solve this problem. Hopefully, without a cat. This is Xeno and Zuma, signing out.